It's Thursday the 15th of December and we're just past 20 past 7 in the morning. Um, so let's have a look at the Australian dollar, US dollar for today. The first thing to go over is we had the US rate decision yesterday. Um, they have increased interest rates which has um, improved the reasoning for investing in the US dollar and subsequently we have seen the Australian dollar weakening against the US dollar producing this um, strong bearish engulfing candle. What we can see is the reaction of this um, selling move came up from within these key levels up here. So basically in the Sunday analysis videos for the last few weeks we've been going over this little rectangle of support and resistance here um, as a potential key area in this market to watch if we pressed up for this resistance and for the sellers coming back into the market. That's what we've seen now. Um, so for today, there's a few specific things I will be watching for for trades. Essentially, I want to sell into the market if we can rally up toward this zone up here at 7,450. And then if not, back up toward all these highs really is the next um, place I would be looking for those sell positions. So if we drop down onto the five minute time frame, um, the initial area I would like to look for resistance is here. We have produced this flat top right here overnight. So if we do get sell positions up here, I'll just watch the market didn't begin to bounce. From up above also, more than happy to look up here for sell positions um, if we can get up there. If we begin to break down through this area of support, look for potential returns and sell positions also. Uh, really the only area I would look for buys today, let's just confirm this on the daily time frame. Yeah, so, oops, down towards previous lows right here, um, this area of support, which is 7370 levels. Um, and we'll watch down there if we begin to break down for potential support. Um, if we broke down strongly, I would look for potential bounces back up into the zone up above where I would then expect to see the continuation. So those are the key things I'm watching today guys and what I'll do is I'll come back at 4.30 as always. We'll have a look at what the market did and we'll go over the price action, we'll go over what it suggests for the market moving forward and zone traders I will take you through any potential setups. Okay, we're at 22.5, so let's have a look at the Australian dollar from today. First thing we can see is the selling came into this market almost straight away this morning, and we have had another strong downward move, almost 1% on the day. So we didn't get the bullish relief rally, which I was looking for up into this zone. You can actually see my alarm is still set up here. The market just came down very, very quickly into the zone below. Um, I actually took a long position from down here, taking the market up. The reason for this was it was identified as key support. And after this market um, came down once again, without making any sort of bullish relief rally, I knew that buyers would be looking to step into this market on the expectation of that pullback. Um, so I got in down here, took the market up for a 1.5 to 1 risk to reward. So 1.5% on the day. It's a relatively simple trade. It will be posted as the live trade video um, in a separate video of the same date, so the 15th of December. Zone traders, um, perfect entry down here to take the market up. The market then comes back down again um, into the below zone. It comes down in a strong move after making...
what is potentially a downward trending move up here. So we've made the high, the low, the lower high, the lower low, the lower high once again. This is potentially now a downtrend. The market then comes down. For me, this is telling me buys down here um, are not the best to take. The market then breaks through, pulls back once again. It's doing the exact same thing again, pulling into the previous low. Zone traders, another entry right here at 3.30. And you would just want to watch the lows that are made as it breaks the zone for potential support on this trade. Okay, so that's everything from today, guys. As always, I hope that was helpful. I'm James Orr, and thank you.